What's going on everybody? Goose on the 13th here with another video talking about the new suit for the week of the 24th of October 2024. We had the Gundam EX from the recent Netflix show. I wonder what it actually says in the explanation. Oh yeah, there it goes. The Record for Vengeance. Very nice funky setup here right next to the old OG grandpa, which by the way, as of the current adjustments, did not get any adjustments very unfortunate <laughs> but let's check this thing out it has a really weird ex beam rifle it, it pretty much just looks like a, a cobbled together thing that is more so based off of the uh like gun cannon a little bit unfortunately and i'll say this right now 300 range on that right 400 for this obviously this thing also has a bunch of other stuff and you know the hammer yada yada no sub weapons unless you get the other version of the rifle that has the, the napalm but we do have a sub EX rocket launcher on this 300 range for that as well. Four shots through there on um, the Vulcans on here. Not super crazy 150, but they do accumulate more than the shoulder Gatling. The shoulder Gatling at 120 power for 60 ammo at a range of 300. So similar to this, if you can tag with this, you can hit them with this. Um, that being said, even using these two in tandem to try to accumulate for a stun, not really going to happen. You're probably better off mixing this in or just trying to follow up with this. But the bigger bread and butter here would be the saber and the the melee blow, which I know, stupid. You punch, yada yada. But the downswing for this is actually a flying kick, <laughs> which is super silly. Let us get into the stats and skills real quick. So... Over here, we got 14k 500 for the health. Ballistic and beam are 19. Melee res is 15. Range strength, unfortunately, is also 15, despite having all the sub weapons. Although, you know, sometimes they just do that on purpose because you have all those. Melee strength at baseline is 25. Movement speed is 130. Top speed is 190. Thruster gauge is 60. And turning speed of 66. For part slots, we have. 13, 8, and 7 for um, close, medium, and long. Melee priority 2, and this is a ground only suit, so at le the very least it does have ground compatibility, as well as a rarity 3. Moving on, we also are checking out these skills here. So we have Light Shock Absorber level 4, Glide Structure level 4. Um, keep in mind, no flight control or anything crazy like that. This is ultimately just another 400 suit. Um, I will say that out of this already, and we're going to continue to go down the line in a second, I'm a little, little pissed that it doesn't have Force Injector. <laughs> it's a little bit rough. But when we get to the last skill, that kind of explains it a little bit, but not really in a way that I like. Anti-Blast Stabilizer, so, you know, you can actually kind of wade through the shit that you kill. High Performance Balancer, level 1. Melee Combo Controller, level 1. Aerial Melee System, so you can do a downswing. Keep in mind that this is... Just for the, the blow. You cannot do the saber. You're just doing flying kicks out of the air. Um, shield tackle. Not super crazy. Only level 1. High performance radar. And EX boost. Very nice that it actually has this. Considering the way that it traverses. And you know. Giving yourself a, a get out of jail free card. With another roll and, and all that good stuff. As well as just extra boost. To like physically get yourself away. Keep in mind though. What's missing here. On top of not having force injector. It also does not have maneuver armor. So even though you can do this, you should probably keep your, your front to the enemy so that you can at least have a chance of them hitting your shield. But again, because it's not a raid, you do not have shield stance mastery either. So if they blow that, guess what? Free stun. Tactical boost. This is a weird, it's a really weird skill. It's, it's easier to show than it is to describe, but we are going to read down the thing here. So while landing, while in a landing motion or recovering after a melee attack, move in any direction and quickly press the jump ascend button to perform a jump with increased movement speed. When this skill is activated, thruster consumption while jumping is reduced, and reaction to enemy fire is also reduced. So this is interesting. For people who are more used to like, uh, what is it called? Anti-fall, like fall prevention system and all that other stuff for like the Jessica Cannon and things like that, or the Jetta Cannon, I should say, not Jessica Cannon where you're like jumping up, they're not being able to stun you midair, and you're like firing back at them. Tactical boost is very similar to this, except in this case, we're going full Marth mode and we are short hopping real tough because you're doing it either out of your melee, say you do a big 
like downswing, you can actually quick hop out of it and then cancel that way. Or once you start going, you're just bunny hopping forward or to the side and doing like really big redirects. <clears throat> that being said, you do have this to work with as an instant stun. You do have to be careful because you don't know, you know, where you're going to land. Depending in doing hard landings is still going to be a little bit rough. And obviously you're going to get landing punished a lot in the suit. Um, but that is the long and short of it. Let's us look at the enhancement list real quick before we move on. So plus one to melee, plus one to anti-beam, plus a hundred to shield HP. And complex expansion slot coming at the end of the regular upgrades for 15, 20, only one plus per piece. And for the unlockables, we have plus five to anti-beam and plus five to melee modifier. Okay. I'm going to double check that I got my buttons here and we are going to move on to our practice round, which actually we're going to be doing on the new map, the resort stuff, which is pretty much just a big old Hathaway map. Pretty neat. Anytime. I'm going to tell you something right now, though. The new map, very intricate, kind of ugly, though. You can tell that they, they started putting in the detail here and by the time we get to the main big buildings here it's uh it's not looking great and especially when you're in matches like there's a lot of pop in there's a lot of just yuck <laughs> even on ps5 which is what we're running this on um but let us try to find something to pick on here i didn't really think about where everything was going to be here all right so galgoog I need you guys to understand. Look how little that is. <laughs> also, just look at that that accumulation. Like between a rifle shot and laying in the entirety of that, not enough. For the Vulcans, though, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen or so. They even feel a little bit more like <laughs> more than that. But, um, I don't know, man. Like, something about that just kind of bothers me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep in mind that this is also times two because they're not firing in sequence. So you're actually firing two per pull. That's why it's going down so fast for the ammo. I know you can't really see it because of my big dumb head. But, bazooka is a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> very solid, very low um, radio speed. We're going to start showing off the bunny hoppage. And then you can hit EX boost and just keep on going. You see that increased speed. Obviously, if people catch you when you're doing the jump itself, you will be harder to stun. Things that are a little bit more cumulative, try to be careful. You think about all the things that are at this cost, right? There's a lot of things that have shotguns. There are a lot of things that have cables. Um, and even if you are a little bit more invulnerable during the jump itself when it comes to stun and stuff like that, you're going to get landing punished. There's going to be people who are just going to be waiting for you to run low on boost and to land normally so that they can nail you. And then you're going to get cabled, yada, yada. The downswing on that saber is slow, but the f kick actually comes out pretty fast and readies up pretty quick. And then you can jump out of it. Same thing with this. But, and this is, this is a little bit tough because it's not very consistent. And I feel like you need a little bit of extra boost anyway. But yeah, you can do a flying kick out of your jump. And then keep springing around and, and doing your bullshit. So that is the long and short of kind of how this behaves. I want to see if I can try to find a raid. To pick on maybe one of these two at sea. Also, you can see there's a lot of blind spots. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Look at the little Jwagu. Cute. What's that actually supposed to be there, right? Hold on. No, oh, there we got a... <laughs> this is the, the choices of suits here. Also, this little guy right here actually got adjusted this week. For the October stuff. Gog, not so much. But man, I mean, even on, even on this. The way that the Vulcans and, and all this works for accumulation. I can already see them adjusting that to make those stun a little bit faster just so that it has a bit more of a chance to really do stuff. Now I will say the Gatling gun 
sucks that it doesn't accumulate that much, but at a cost this low, the amount you're doing, even if it's not super high, because this has 300 range, it's actually not too bad, you know, for general pursuit, as well as just helping to finish off stuff alongside other people. You know, 3, 3k or so there for some of our dummy thick targets. Now, as you can imagine, not really super great for base busting either. And we can talk about the map a little bit here. A lot of these areas, you're n because of the way that these suits move, you're not really going to notice a whole lot. That was 3655 about typically where you are. There's a lot of verticality choices. There's a lot of walls and things that are like just slow enough for you to like land on and to do goofy shit. You know, especially with the suit that hops around the way that this one does and gets a lot of air time. Um, going over to the base here, you can kind of lay in, in on this. But that actually just hit like a tree or some shit. What the fuck? So your, your big damagers are going to be the rocket launcher and the, and the the beam rifle. You're probably better off just pacing this with standard shots. The Vulcans and all that aren't really going to do a lot. And this is not you know, an aggro guy, so you're not really going to be doing a lot of melee damage with this. The interesting thing is that you can tell that they really wanted you to just keep spamming that jump button. Because, like, getting out of the downswing for both of these, either because of the traversal or the animation, being really slow, like, they want you to cancel out with a hop. Because it's, it's easily going to be the fastest thing that you can do outside of, you know. The big thing here, too, obviously, if you can catch them from behind or whatever with the downswing for the um, sabers, then you can get a good chance for a ready up to do it again with the, the flying foot. So something like that, and then you come across, there's a decent amount of hitbox for you to hit them on the ground. Now, in this map, for example, this is a good example. So, like, if I come off of this and do that, it's enough height that it's not really going to make contact if they fall short or fall down here. So, in situations like that, you do have to be a little bit more mindful. But, I'll be honest with you, it took me a little bit to warm up to this suit, and I'm still not super sold on it in some other cases because of all the stuff I was talking about before with, like, Stun heavy, cable heavy kind of suits and other output at this cost. I mean, it's got to deal with the, the metal spider and all this other sh bullshit. You know, Wawa Gundam, Wawa Dominance. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that do what it does a little bit better while not having to lean super hard on a, a fucking jumping gimmick. But we do have a match that we're going to be putting up. I think it was actually on here. If not, then you'll see. And we're going to put that right around here. I'm sure they would prefer more than a handful of suits <laughs> to be included as well. Just fucking load the match, please. Here we go! Did we get stuck on the new map again? Yeah, we did. Also, regular ass goof. Amazing. I'm so grateful for these teams all the time. I feel like a dumbass hopping around in this thing. <laughs> like, Jesus.
captured a beacon. There we go. I'm gonna try to front for this shit. See anything? that damage anyway. I say OG Goof actually be getting like downloads and stuff too. They're about to get fucking nailed. One of five. Good. Before me hit that guy off, he's probably still gonna get that shot off though. Eyeball. Your ally's been knocked out! Your ally's been knocked out! Destroyed an enemy mobile suit. Shitting me, dude.
Oh my god. Ugh. Your ally's been knocked out. They're not actually not gonna hit kill anybody, are they? Good luck. No, they are not. Still pretty sloppy, but yeah, we won. You might take that one. Oh my god! There we get third. Here are this battle's rewards. So that was our round in the EX. Not bad. I mean, I'm definitely going to be running this more over the course of the week. I am a little bit grateful that we ended up getting the Jenny Curse for this because we're still saving up for Ryan Gus. Clan matches with this suit are going to be a little bit interesting because I want to say... And I, I might be wrong. I think it's going to be Ace Match over on console. Obviously for PC it's going to be like 600 and some other crazy shit. But... I am curious to see how this actually handles in that situation, especially because it's going to be Arctic Base. Arctic Base Ace Match. Damn, dude. Arctic Base is actually a map that I haven't gotten to play this on yet. And obviously, since it's able to go through all that and it's hopping and doing all this sort of shit, it might not do that bad on that map. Um, there is a little bit of wonky. Um traversal on there for vertical just because of the way the the big and small bridges are but <clears throat> doing a lot of stuff at mid probably won't be too bad in this thing overall not the worst addition i am looking forward to if they actually do add like some of the other requiem zakus maybe the goof custom that was in there or whatever but we'll have to see how they pull that off but for now this is our look at the Gundam EX. Like I said, I'll be playing this more during the week, so check me out over on YouTube or Twitch, preferably YouTube, so that you can like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys have gotten this suit, and good luck if you are still trying to spin for it. And until next time, this is Gustav the 13th. I'll talk to you guys next time.